Welcome back to Retirement Coffee Talk with Sharice Rivers at Zinnia Wealth. Online, ZinniaWealth.com, Z-I-N-N-I-A Wealth.com. All right, so you go on a trip, you rent a car, you turn the car back in on time, everything's good, <laughs> and then the people at Hertz send you the final bill. Okay, it happened to a guy who went to the Los Angeles airport and he rented a Tesla. And so he got the bill back and he was charged $277 to refill the gas tank. Well, folks, as you well know, Teslas are electric cars and they don't have a gas tank. <laughs> so <laughs> guys I like, what is this? And he had to go through all sorts of hoops. But I guess Hertz finally relented and they refunded the money on the bogus gas charge. That is hilarious. <laughs> like, pay attention to your receipts. Come on, guys. I, it's crazy. I, I went to a cookie place and I got a text of the receipt and I saw this fee on there. It was like an extra icing fee. I'm like, I didn't get extra icing, <laughs> but I wasn't going back in there for pennies. But I'm just like, pe people, they, they, I, I think people are taught to add fees. Yeah, I know. It. You, go, you look at sometimes on the restaurant. They, they won't notice. They'll, have all, they'll still have the COVID stuff on there. They're still charging that fee. So, I mean, there are you have to watch out for this. There are bogus fees all over the place. So here's why I want to talk about this, Sharice. The financial industry is... <sighs> notorious for this. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they charge fees for us to have our money in Vanguard and Fidelity and all of that. We don't even know that. And they say, well, it's in the prospectus. And you go, well, what's that? You know, and, they, and you know, diving into a 100 page prospectus to try to figure out how much all this is costing you is like beyond me. It's like, forget it. I'm not doing it. In the meantime, we pay fees for years. And Sharice, one of the things that you do is you figure out what fees are not for just one year, but what they are for like five, six, 10, 20 years. And then it starts to become real money, doesn't it? It does. And I'm going to tell you the financial services industry, Randy, it's, I think it's borderline criminal mm -hmm. because the fees that people are paying on the daily for their their class A share mutual funds that they don't even know the fees are built in. Some of these fiduciaries out there that are charging 1.5% on a total portfolio of a million dollars, it's highway robbery. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, even when you go to the bank, there's fees built in. Some annuities out there, there's fees built in. Expense ratios on exchange traded funds, index funds, and mutual funds, it's also another fee. So if you're going to get dinged with all these fees, we have to make sense of it. And this is why we do run that portfolio x-ray for everyone who comes in, Randy, because I want to see, hey, Kay, you have 50 funds in your portfolio, whether it's in a 401k or if it's over at Fisher Investments or if it's over at a mutual fund company that's charging you high commissions. I want to see what every commission is on every fund you own. I want to see what every 12B1 fee is or expense ratio fee that the company gets paid is on every one of your funds. Because what we find is a lot of people have overlap. And the overlap means everything's doing the same thing in your portfolio. And if you have three funds with three different companies and they're doing the same exact thing, but one of them has a commission and the other one has a, you know, 1% internal fee. And then one of them has that, um, fee with commission and wrap fee. We're going to say, well, keep one. Let's keep the lowest cost one and get rid of the other two. Cause they're all doing the same thing. And now let's get a little bit balanced and add sprinkle in some other ideas and alternatives into the portfolio. So we like to take a scalpel to your portfolio and show mm -hmm. you what we like, what we don't like, and actually why there is a why behind what we do. And in the financial services industry, wall street always wins. You know, I love to use Fisher Investments. And the reason is, is they have amazing commercials. Why you should hate annuities. You know, they are just really great at marketing. That's all they're good at. They're really not great at anything else in my <laughs> opinion, but that's your, you'll, you'll figure it out over time. But what I will say is they have the commercials and they're great and, and they're fiduciaries, right? And they charge fees on your investments that are with them. So they're not going to charge you commissions, but their commercials about fiduciary say, when you make money, we make money. When you lose money, we, we lose money. No, no, and, no. When you lose money, we still make money. They don't tell you right. that. We still make money. <laughs> and, and they will charge 1.25 to 1.5% on the entire investment. You know how many people come to me that had two, three, $4 million with Fisher Investments and they're not doing 
anything or anything different than you just going and buying some index funds on your own, yet still charging you that kind of money. So the industry has really solidified that it's okay for you to be charged on all of your accounts at a heavy load of fees because you're retired and you got to have this fiduciary. Not all fiduciaries are created equally, remember? And when you come in, we'll educate you about that. And if you and if you want to stay with Fisher, stay with Fisher. If you want to stay with this broker dealer, stay with this broker dealer. If you want to stay with this insurance agent, that's fine. But let us educate you. Let us show you how you can do the same thing, probably reduce risk and possibly even have a higher return all on top of probably lowering your fees by an average of 0.75% to 1%. Gosh. Because if the market goes down and Fisher loses you 45% like he did in 2008, and you have a 1.5% fee that is beating up your account as you're going down the tubes for two years and as you're crawling yourself out of this hole for five years, a seven years, wouldn't it be better to have a like item instrument in your portfolio that doesn't have a fee or half the fee so you can get back to even quicker? I mean, we're just planting the seed for the listeners to really understand that there is a better way. Thanks for listening to the Retirement Coffee Talk podcast. If you have questions or would like to begin the process of building a tailored retirement plan, call Zinnia Wealth at 803-368-3680 or find us online at ZinniaWealth.com. Therese Rivers is an investment advisor representative of Zinnia Wealth Advisory, LLC, a registered investment advisor. Exposure to ideas and financial vehicles discussed should not be considered investment advice or recommendation to buy or sell any financial vehicle. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Investments can fluctuate and when redeemed may be worth more or less than when originally invested. Financial professionals are not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if Sharice Rivers is licensed in your state, please contact their office. Zinnia Wealth Advisory, LLC is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. Any client experiences discussed during this show are unique to that client. They are not meant to imply or suggest you will experience the same results. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through Sharice Rivers, NPN Insurance License Number 8718011.